I'm Jennifer Angel. This is the Sagittarius. Now, most of the activity this week is happening in the sign of Aries, which for you is your solar fifth house. Now, Mars and Venus are there, so let's look at that first because when Mars and Venus are together, they're like the yin and the yang of love. It's like, you know, a real magical connection. And the fifth house is an area of your chart where love affairs can start. So if you're looking for love, um, you could be in luck, okay? So it's certainly one of the area, one of the areas of your chart and times in the solar, um, in the solar schedule or solar journey of planets when love it can just come and tap you in the heart or just you know get your attention. And certainly with Venus and Mars there, then that's possible. And I think it was late last week that that they both. Um, will conjunct and connect. So um, if you're already in a relationship, then it's a time when you can, you know, fine-tune the relationship. All relationships need work, you know, no matter how compatible you are. I mean, we're all different. We're all new, unique. That's what makes it so beautiful. Um, but simply for that fact, then we're not going to agree on absolutely everything and we're going to have expectations that aren't be filled. And so... Hence, there's going to be some level of disappointment along the way in life, you know, and that's what life is. It's about support and challenge. So um, you have to work on it. So, you know, this really gives you a chance to um, work on your relationship and certainly with the new moon there, it's a, a whole new start. Now, this is a very creative, <clears throat> excuse me, area of your chart as well. And I always like to think of this area as good for teamwork. So, um, you know, if you apply it to business, then um, certainly a creative venture is, you know, if you can work within a team and you're very independent, Sagittarius, and really, you know, a concept or a thought is um, created by one person. But it's, it's a really brought to fruition or, you know, manifested by one. So, um, so certainly, yes, use your talents to work solo, then get the people around you who you trust and respect to help you bring your visions to reality. And as a Sagittarian, you have vision. And that's a fabulous thing about your star sign. I have a Sag rising, so I know all about vision. Um, uh, but, you know, also just back on the love, I mean, you know, you're very flirtatious, Sagittarius too. So, you know, if if a love affair doesn't start, then you can you can have some fun and um, some flirtatious fun and that and flirtatious fun is what gets the heart fluttering and what just makes life more enjoyable. So, you know, I think it's um, documented somewhere that laughter is one of the greatest healers. So, yeah, go and have some of that. Um, let's have a look what else is happening. We've got um, Mercury is still sitting in your solar fourth house at home and family. So uh, communications on that level, you know, can be happening this week as well. It's just there for this one um, week. And at the end of the week, it's going to excuse me, transit into the next sign, your solar fifth house. And, <clears throat> excuse me, again, and at the 13th of this week, which is Saturday, um, Pluto in your very next sign of um, your solar second house is going to go retrograde. So be careful <clears throat> of the way that you... Um, view yourself and you know with Pluto going retrograde it can really send you into a little bit of a momentarily spiral about oh my goodness I'm, I'm this old and I'm here I should have done more um, I should be more or whatever you know you're perfect the way everything is perfect the way it is Sagittarius and right now every day is a new day so you can make different decisions for yourself so look at what you have rather than what you have not. Okay, have a great week. Thanks for watching. I'm Jennifer Angel.